I got invited to an event that was a joint effort between Pear Song and Pear In Feet to unveil their special burger collaboration. I've been ordering a lot of Pear Song's world famous bibimbap on Uber Eats. Pear Song recognized this and as a show of gratitude, invited me and another guest to the special VIP event. The event was hosted at Pear In Feet's Burger Par Aliano, incredibly spacious and well-constructed interior. They even had a fully loaded wine cellar. My brother and I got a picture with Pierre Song. Incredible smile, he was so kind and accessible. He speaks very good English too. I made sure to thank him for inviting us to this wonderful event. All the food and drink was free. I helped myself to some red wine and some alcoholic-free pina coladas. We shared some pleasant conversations with some new friends we made. The place got super packed as the evening went along. During the middle half of the evening, everyone gathered on the second floor and the host shared a nice speech. This evening was also to commemorate and honor the life of a fellow chef who passed away in a car accident. The vibes of the crowd got super emotional. Eat and live on, and that's what we did. The entree of the night was a sweet potato chip and salad combination. The pairing really highlights the similarities of the natural crunchiness of lettuce and the baked to a crisp version of a sweet potato. It was dressed with a nice tangy and sweet sauce. Then, the main event of the night. Pear Song and Pear and Feast burger collaboration, the Samjang Burger. I really enjoyed the bun, thick and crispy exterior and soft interior. Great vessel for arranging all the burger's ingredients and to prevent the bun from getting soggy. They used excellent quality beef that literally melts in your mouth on each bite. The staff asked us for some feedback regarding the flavor of the burger. Our new friends thought it was a bit too salty. The Samjang sauce really dominated the flavor profile of the dish. My brother thought they should have added some Japanese-style mayo to counterbalance the strong sodium content of the Sanjang sauce. I wonder what cheese pairs the chefs could have considered to really round out the burger. We really got the sense that this event was an opportunity for Pierre Song and Pierre and Feast to experiment with new recipes, ingredient combinations, and flavors. This shows that even the best chefs in the world are always hard at work at learning and gathering feedback on their existing iterations, improving their recipes, and striving to perfect them. We were also incredibly surprised that they showcased a second experimental burger, the Indian curry style veggie burger. Strong Indian curry flavors paired with an elegant layer of mayo, green apple, and with a lighter layer of samjang sauce. We collectively thought that this was the best burger of the night. Of course, there was also dessert. Hazelnut cookie crumbler with whipped cream, topped with sweet caramel and roasted hazelnuts. It was amazing. I wish I could have eaten more of it. Final dessert was a French style ice cream sundae surrounded by hazelnuts, caramel, with a dash of sea salt, and a large paper thin slice of chocolate towering above. Thank you so much Pierre Song and Pierre and Peace for inviting us to this event. An incredible honor and experience. Take care everyone and see you soon.